everyone. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do a Celtic weave. And I'm going to do it in a swatch style. So I'm going to make a chain, or sorry, slip knot, and I'm going to chain 14. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And for basically for your Celtic knot, you need multiples of four and an edge and an edge. So I'll go ahead and chain two more, making it 16 in total. Yarn it over and you're going to do a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So that's one, two, three right here on the blue. Bring it up and do your double crochet. And go ahead and just do double crochets all the way down your chain. After you do your double crochets, you can start doing the post stitches. Now you can either do double crochets or you can do triple crochets or even a half double. The most common type in patterns is going to be the double crochet border. There you have it, your row of double crochets. Go ahead and chain three. And then this chain three actually counts as your first double crochet. And we'll be working with these first four posts right here to begin with. So basically you're gonna be doing a front post triple crochet in the order of three, four, one, two. So basically put your hook underneath the third one like a tunnel Bring it up, yarn it over, pull through your twos. Yarn it over twice, go through your tunnel, bring up a loop, pull through the two, pull through the two, and pull through the two. And go into that first one. Go through your twos and grab your second one. And there's your first one. Now you're going to be working with these four, then after those four, these four. So I'll do kind of like a fast forward addition.
go ahead and make your last double crochet into the, the top, sorry, the third chain that you made in your chain three. So mine is kind of hard to see because it's dark colors, but one, two, three right here. And make your double crochet. Go ahead and chain three. And turn your work. So now, you're basically going to be doing back posts. So the thing to remember is you have to separate your X's. So from the front two to the back two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a back post on the first two, just one two. Since there's no way to make it a four, you just do in the order, one two. And it's a back post triple crochet. So make sure you find that second one. And then find your next four. So your next four is going to be these two and these two right here that were in the front of the X. So it'll be three, four, one, two. Sometimes if you kind of turn your work around like this, you can even just do it like this. Kind of makes it easier to find at some point. There's your four. And then you need one and two. So instead of going to the front like you did with the front post, you have to bring your hook around from the back. It's kind of tricky to see right there. Under your tunnel, bring your loop up and around. Oh, I did too much of a turn there. Go under your tunnel. There you go. Bring up your loop and go through your twos. And you have that fourth one right here. So go underneath. That one was a lot easier to see there. It's basically how you do the first one. Your second set is going to be these two. And the ones that were in the back of these ones. So grab right here. Do your back post triple crochet. Through twos, and then back post for one and two. And then you have these last two right here. So just like the beginning, you're going to do a one, two, because you don't have a way to make it into a four. And again, you make a double crochet into the third chain. Now this one will be easier to see. There's your chain one, your chain two, your chain three. And just a double crochet. And then chain three. Look right here. You should have kind of like some X's forming. So now if you look at it, you're basically going to be repeating front post, back post, front post, back post, until you get the desired length or height. So your first four are going to be this, these two, and then separate that X, and these two. So you're going to do three, four, one, two. And 
then go to your one two doing front pose And now for your second set of four, you have these back two and then these front two. Now for these two that are kind of hiding in the back, the fun part is you actually get to bring those up. Put your hook from the front and go through your twos. And then you have one more set of four to go. You have these two right here and then the two that were in the back right here. And then lastly, you just have your double crochet in the third chain. So find your third chain. There's one, there's two, and there's your three. And that's basically what it's gonna be looking like. So all you gotta remember is three, four, one, two, and alternate front post to back post, front post to back post. If you have any questions or comments, Leave them in the box below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.